Today we are in Lady Lake. We're just off of 27 here, US 27. And behind us, Alfie's. We're gonna do a restaurant review at Alfie's. No one suggested it. We just searched up places to eat and we've seen this one a couple times and said, you know what, let's give it a try. Fun fact, it's not the same place by any means, but after our wedding, we ate at an the Alfie's next the next morning. We had breakfast, breakfast at an Alfie's catfish house. <laughs> they had some really good pancakes. Some like cinnamon swirl pancakes. Yeah, they were great. Like but as far as I know, no relation to this Alfie, but that's where we're gonna eat tonight, Alfie's. I think it's Bar and Grill. Let's go check it out. And here's US 27. You gotta come in on this road and then you turn where this truck is and the parking lot's kind of all over the place here. And it's next to this To Your Health Spa. Right there. And here we have Alfie's, Alfie's Grill. It is very windy right now. The entrance, that must just be an empty building. The entrance is over here. Uh, I think the hours are on the door. It says Monday 11.30 to 8, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday 11.30 to 8, Friday 11.30 to 9, Saturday 11.30 to 8, Sunday closed. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Looks like we're going to be over here, right here. This is what it looks like in here. So we came through the door right there next to the tree. I'm not sure where the restrooms are. Maybe back in that corner over that way. Got some kind of specials back on the door there. Have a TV and then they have a bar right here. They do have a sign that shows faith over fear. And then next to us, this big tree with pictures on it. They gave us this little insert that shows Lebanese food. So we'll show you that. Oh, a falafel sandwich. Does that um, spark your interest? Oh, they got Christian music playing in the background too. That's a great song. Stuffed grape leaves. Hummus. Here's some desserts. All right, and here's the menu. All meals are hand breaded to order, always fresh. We are first come, first serve. We appreciate your patience. Got some appetizers here, gator tails, chicken wings, all the different sauces for the wings. Here we have soup and salads on the half shell. They do have lunch baskets. Those are served before 3 p.m. And then over here on the back, we have sandwiches served with fries. Down here, you get all of these. So there's a combo for one and a combo for two, but you get fish, shrimp, scallops, and clam strips served with served fried with potatoes, veggies, add a salad for 250. Down here, we have dinners served with potatoes and veg. Look at that fish, shrimp, and scallops fried or broiled for $22.95. Kids menu, 12 years and under, grilled cheese, and drinks. We did the half and half tea. Now they do have these specials, a choose one, a choose two, from fish, shrimp, scallops, oysters, chicken, clam strips. And all the specials are up there. Now up on the board it does say, note, extra sauce is 50 cents and one free refill per person which I'm guessing maybe they're talking about the drink. So just know that going into it. They do have a 14 ounce ribeye dinner for $29.95. Timber and I ended up sharing the fish, shrimp, and scallops, and also a side of hummus with pita bread. Here's a look at the hummus that came out fast. That's a big bowl. The hummus is pretty good. The pita is a little tough. And the restroom sign is right up there. So I guess it's right to the right of the little checkout area they do have those wine choices up there i like how they have the game show network on over here fun to watch game show network it's also a great show there and here is our meal so you got the shrimp scallops and fish green beans and then what is the 
Greek, Greek, Greek potatoes. potatoes. So we're gonna give that a try. And everybody got uh, the same thing. So look at all this. And then we did get cocktail and tartar to try that. Um, we'll let you know how everything is. So as far as the scallops go, um, they're not really that good, if I'm being honest. Definitely have had better scallops. So unfortunately, I think we're striking out on this meal. Um, everything really hasn't tasted the best as far as the seafood. You win some and you lose some. And I um, think today we lost, but we'll... Yeah, there's definitely some food left under here. So we'll, we'll talk about it in the car. And here is a look at that bill. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty pricey there. All right, we're heading back outside here. Well, we'll, we'll talk about the experience there. Um, let you know what we thought. All right, that was our trip out to Alfie's here in Lady Lake. Let me start by saying, when we do restaurant reviews, we never want to like bash a place. We never want to like bring a place down, do anything like that. But we do want to be honest on the reviews. And for the most part... Constructive criticism is what we're going for. Yes. For the most part, though, the places we do eat at, they are good. Like, right. we're, we're honest when we do those We've reviews. Been recommended or... Right. Or we have a good time. Or we've looked it up beforehand and seen it has, you know... You may want to know. The sun's ratings. coming in on her face. That's why she's holding her head like this. But yes, we do our research mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but there are times that... It just doesn't work out like it should. One of those times a lot of people know about Johnny Rockets. That was one that was a overall bad experience. And not only was it b a bad experience, but like they were pretty rude when we did it. Mm -hmm. So that was one that we um, just didn't have a good time at. And to this day, we have not been back. Mm -hmm. There's been other ones that the food has been good, but maybe the service wasn't that great. Then there's been times the service has been great and the food maybe wasn't that good. And I think, unfortunately, this one's gonna go under that category of they were very friendly, very nice, but unfortunately, we didn't eat much of the food at all. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of go into detail, I don't necessarily think the seafood was cooked all the way on some of it. And then on other things like the scallops, they just were not good scallops. They were, they were not good. Mm -hmm. I hate saying that, but that's just the honest truth. Our waitress was great. She was very nice. And it could have just been a fluke thing for our table. I don't know, but that's all we have to go off yeah. of, so. And we're gonna probably have people comment, well, why didn't you tell them to take it back? It's one, we're not those type of people anyway. And two, that'd be three platters going back. Yeah. And the scallops were cooked. They just weren't, weren't, good, weren't good scallops. So overall, I'm gonna, give this one a, a no-go uh, that yeah that's I mean just leave it at that just leave it at that service was good the people were nice the place was clean as far as yeah. we could tell I mean it had good things going for it but food's kind of important I guess yeah you win some you lose some luckily most of the time we are winners when it comes to these food reviews today not so lucky with it I'm hoping that maybe it was an off night and normally it's better but i mean based on a it is a friday night and there wasn't many people in there mm -hmm. but who knows maybe they're if you know anything about alfie's let us know maybe they're newish and just trying to get started and i i really don't know but um take our reviews you know for whatever they're worth in your eyes some people agree with us some people don't so yeah yeah and and by no means are we picky i mean i eat anything my parents were with us they eat anything too and when you have four of us agree that that wasn't good seafood i don't think it's just one person it's kind of a collective well and not finish the meals i think that was the yeah that's true biggest thing and we are currently accepting donations because it was pricey yeah 94 dollars is a lot for yeah. not not a whole lot of food and honestly that was probably the best bang for your buck that's true on the menu 
Yeah. There were cheaper items, but it wasn't like full meal type things. It didn't yeah, seem like. Yeah, so. that's true. <clears throat> I don't know. That's just our opinion. Um, if somebody has been here and had a good meal, let us know. Glad but, you enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, some people ask if we always have good reviews. Well, here you go. Unfortunately, this one's not. But I think we're going to wrap it up. All jokes aside, I do think we're going to go somewhere and eat. Um, because we really didn't eat much food. Not a big fan of uh, having to pay for extra refills. Um, mm -hmm. I get the whole sauce thing because there's other p places that you have to pay for sauce, extra sauce. Uh, but the whole refill, I mean, drinks are expensive anyway. They charge they three dollars. Three dollars for tea and only get one refill. So I don't know. But anyway, we'll we will stop rambling here. Uh, Sorry, that might not have been the best food review we've had. It's all right. It happens. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.